So now that we know how to manually dock our robot, that's really great. Um, something that we're adding in with all of our robots, um, with this generation of robot, and eventually we'll roll out for other future generations of robot, is a robot garage. The robot garage is pretty awesome because it not only will, sometimes does this robot actually have problems docking depending on the yard types, we've had issues with it docking incorrectly, it actually goes in there with a lot of force. and. I think with this robot garage, it'll actually reduce pretty much those errors down to zero because you can see it just how well this thing is built. Um, we have this built by a professional carpenter. Um, when you lease the robot from us, I don't charge you any extra for it because you know, our end result is I want to bring this technology to you guys. And yes, you know, and, and a part of it is you know, I want to protect our robots if you're leasing them. If you want to buy the robot from us, we can sell these to you and the prices are listed on the web page if you're really interested. But the robot garage is really cool. Um, the, the cable goes out, the wires go back, and the leading wire comes in through here, through the base, no problem, and uh, it's securely planted down. And this is a secure, it's mostly for security too, to help it so you don't just see the robot out in the yard. It almost looks like a pump shack. Now, in the future, if you really want to, as clients, you can say, hey, I want something painted on here, and then I might charge you a little extra or something for that. But, you know, if you want, like, the Husker logos or something, I don't know. I'm just throwing out ideas. We try to keep it just this color, just so it's sort of inconspicuous and makes it look nice um, in the yard. And you will barely notice it. But also the ro robot garage keeps the robot inside well shaded. Also, it protects the wires in the back. We've had clients that have had issues with manipulations of the wires in the back for whatever reason. So that really cut, prevents that from happening. So it's very difficult to actually manipulate those wires and you don't need to. Also, this thing is really secure. If we have a bad storm or anything like that, um, you know, that it protects the robot even more, even though these robots are designed to handle harsh climates and weathers. The uh, robot is actually, uh, this will actually help prevent it more. Also, it creates a shaded environment for it, so it helps uh, keep the battery, um, it makes the battery and the robot last longer. If you lease the robot for us, from us, we replace the batteries uh, when they start dying out.